Hey everyone, I'm Lisa from Down to Earth Learning and Design, and I'm out here on a cool rainy day at the very end of April, um, out at the nursery, picking up um, an order for a client. Um, and I want to talk a little bit today about planting trees, selecting the trees, and the timing of them, because actually spring and fall are ideal times for planting a tree. Uh, my preference is spring because it will give the tree a good seven or eight months to establish itself, establish its roots. And also the selection, as you can see behind me, is phenomenal this time of year. So as far as trees go, um, I have a lot of favorites, but what it really depends on is, of course, what you like and where your tree is going to go. So you want to think about a lot about the space that you have. If, for example, if you're planting a shade tree, you want to give it ample room to mature as those can get quite large and they are fast growers. Um, versus if you need something that is going to go in a smaller space, you might want to do a dwarf variety or a smaller weeping tree would be pretty as well. And then of course there's flowering species um, and then a lot of your maples, birches, native species. So variety is at its best right now. Um, why to plant a tree? Well, first of all, we've had uh, a lot of gypsy moth damage the last couple of years in our area. Um, the trees have really taken a beating. They've been defoli defoliated and uh, it really leaves them susceptible to pests and diseases. So I think it's good to get out there and replenish our trees. But also it can add really nice curb appeal to your yard. Um, it can provide some shade for your house and help you with your energy efficiency. It can protect from the wind um, and just overall um, help with water and soil quality erosion um, and also habitat for wildlife. So selecting a tree, um, these here are B&Bs. So what that means is they're a much larger tree that you're starting off with. Um, the trunks range in diameter, starting at a probably about two inches in diameter, and their root balls are large, heavy, a little tougher to plant, uh, and they're wrapped in burlap. So if you're looking for a slow-growing variety of tree and you want something established, B&B is the way to go. They are a little more costly, uh, but you're going to get them a, a, nice, a much nicer specimen as well. Uh, if, you, if your finances are a little more limited and you're patient, you could go with a smaller container size, so 10 or 15 gallon is also fine. So you really want to think about, you know, economics, um, how slowly the tree grows and where it's going when you're selecting your size. Um, next of all, you really want to look at the trunk. You want to make sure it's nice and healthy. So there's no cracks or um, scars or anything on the trunk, you want to inspect that. And then if it's an upright tree variety, then you want to look for a strong leader and then some really nice full lateral branches. Um, you really don't want any holes in the tree. Um, so I think that's it for selection, but I hope you, you have a chance to get out there and do some shopping and um, get out there and plant a tree. Thanks for joining me today, and if you enjoyed the video, please like it, or if you're looking for some more gardening tips, subscribe to our channel.